Hi, my name is Sean, and I work with the Office of Scholarly Innovation and Student Research, and I'm going to give you guys a quick presentation on how to design a research poster presentation for a research conference. So the very first thing to keep in mind is that you need to change the dimensions of the, well, whatever app you're using, maybe it's PowerPoint or Google Slides, but you need to change the dimensions of that slide to be the same as whatever size you're printing it to be. So go to the settings, change it the dimension of the slide to 48 inches by 36 inches. That's usually the most common size people print at, and so it makes it a lot easier later down uh, the road if you already have it set to the same size that you're going to be printing. So what makes a good poster presentation? Uh, the very important to, it's very important to remember that in a research conference, people are walking by very quickly and they're generally pretty far away. And so you need to make your poster readable from a good distance away and to be catchy enough to make people want to come by and look when they have such a short amount of time to walk by. Um, so using really good colors, graphics, fonts, um, really big text, that makes it really easy to grab people's attention and to stay for a little while and maybe ask you questions about your research. Um, um, using really clear text and to the point, um, using numbers and bullets and good headlines make it easier for people to read your information and always make sure you have very consistent and clean layout. And I'll go over a couple examples of these in a moment. So where do you even begin? So the very first thing you need to think about is what is important about your results? What is the most interesting findings that you have from your research? And how can you visually share this? How can you visually share the most important findings of your research? Then you need to think about what kind of information you can convey as you're speaking to the audience that complements the visuals of your results and complements your poster. So there is no one way to create a poster. There are many different ways and many different posters out there. These are just a couple that I have. So here's a very sample text. It is a very text heavy sample presentation I have. Um, as you can tell, it's very, very text heavy. It's got the very traditional abstract intro methods, results, conclusion kind of layout, um, almost like an academic research journal. Um, it does have a very consistent theme and it has a couple graphics, but the most important part and the most forefront aspect of this poster presentation isn't the graphics. Um, it's the text and the text is very heavy and very hard to read. This kind of poster presentation doesn't grab an audience member's attention. It, if anything, it makes it feel like almost a toll to want to read all of it. And so you have to keep that in mind is that a lot of people don't have enough time and don't really want to do all that much reading on this poster presentation. They care much more about the visuals and the graphics and then you can convey to them the information. Text is important, but having this much text can be a little bit of a hindrance. Here's an example of a visual heavy poster. And this is a great example of using uh, the real estate of the poster to highlight the most important findings and results. Uh, the middle of the poster is the most prime real estate, and it is the best spot to put your graphs, your, your pictures, the most important findings of your results. And, and, and this poster does a really good job of that. You can tell right away what the research results were and you can see its graphs and it grabs your attention right away. Uh, once again, this poster has the very traditional um, abstract, abstracts, intro, methods, results, discussions, um, kind of like a traditional academic research journal, but what's different compared to this one, the last one, is that the text is a lot bigger and it's a lot easier to read. And accompanied with the really good graphics, this makes it really easy to grab people's attention and want to go, oh, I like these frogs, what is this about? And so they stop and then they ask you questions and then you can describe to them the intro without having them read through it themselves. Now, this traditional layout, the abstract, the intro, methods, discussion, um, the, the three columns, this is not the only way to present a research poster. There are many ways to present research posters and maybe you want to take a different route. Here's a really good example of an alternative way to present a research uh, poster. So as you can see here, it doesn't have a title, it doesn't even have an intro, it doesn't have abstract, discussions, results. All it has is a single graph and a little bit of text. And just that alone, you can already take away so much from these results. This is the warming stripes that highlight global warming in the last uh, 150 years or so. And as you can tell just by looking here, you can come away with an understanding that the planet is warming. And so this is a really good example of using the space and design elements and just using a really, really solid graphic to convey the most important aspects of your research. 
Now, not every poster, con poster conference, research conference you go to uh, may allow you to do something like the previous poster I just showed you. Um, you have to always keep in mind the guidelines and requirements of the conference you're going to and how they might expect your poster to look. And so you always have to keep in mind that how your poster will look will ultimately always depend on the conference you're going to and the audience that you're talking to. But that doesn't mean that you can't put in a little bit of yourself. You can't put in uh, some design elements, some really good graphics because you designed them and you like the way that they look. Um, you always have to keep in mind that it's your poster presentation and if you want it to look a certain way, you can always adapt whatever guidelines you have to make it look really good and highlight the really good results you have. And so that's it. That's all I have. So thank you guys for watching and I hope this was really useful.